All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Shapak coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakorash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Man, um, today I'm going to get into this article. Uh, this is from USA Today. And it says, at least three dead, hundreds of thousands steal without power as storms slam Michigan, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. It says, a wall of storms that roared through a swath of the Midwest and south with heavy rains, hail, and wind, gust up gust of up to 80 miles per hour killed at least three people and knocked out power to more than one million homes and businesses at the height of the tempest and that's very that's spiritual that they use that word tempest because and I'm not going to read all into this article but man your howbashing your size is literally turning up man you know we could be out of here this year by the end of this year you know um Yahweh Shah is definitely going to make his return any day now. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we got to be focused on, hey, just getting the hell up out of here, man. Lord willing, the world of that number will be, you know, taken out of this place on a chariot, you know, at the height of its demise, at the hands of the nuclear missiles, or at the hand of Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. But, you know, these, hey, man, these prophecies are popping off, man. You know, Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah is popping off. But, you know, I'm going to get this scripture. This is Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So that that uh, that storm that left one million without power and three people dead. Hey, man, that was Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah is working, man. You know, the Lord is visiting this earth, which he made. And these are signs that we're seeing. You got Mississippi completely flooded you know um you have california that has a drought you know all these different places texas you know all these different things are going on you know uh, uh because you have about some is judging the earth for its wickedness he's judging the world for its wickedness man you know so to you people out there that think this thing that they think shit's gonna get better or you know america's got a fucking plan to fix Everything that the Lord destroys, nobody can fix what Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah destroys, man. And what he has planned, nobody can re you or uh, annul the Lord's plans. And the Lord's plans is to take Babylon the Great out, man, you know, and rip this bitch apart from the inside out, which is what he's doing. You know, hey, Salaki, excuse my language, but, you know, sometimes the spirit going to get on you to be raw and uncut, man. You know, Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah is not playing, man. You know, you know, and the Lord is the author of these storms and these so-called natural disasters. You know, none of these things happen without the Lord, you know, a Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai sanctioning it. Let's see. Uh, bear with me, Yaki and Baba Kusha. Because I know what I'm looking for. This is Nahum 1 and 3. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah hath his way in the storm, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, and this this is just that things are gonna get come are gonna get worse. You know, and Esau knows this. That's why, you know, you had an article recently come out and, and state that, you know, bigger cities like Indianapolis, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, you know, all these different places that are huge, they don't have an exit plan for a flood. You know, which not like that would help anyway. You know, hey, man, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to punish the inhabitants of this earth, man, for the wickedness, for the push on um, sodomy, for the push on pedophilia, man. For the push on, on on murder, rape, and robbery that's going on, you know, and two thirds of our people are going to be part of uh, that great judgment that's coming to this place, man. Because hey, you niggas are knee deep in y'all wickedness, man. You know, 
we all go off, man. And, you know, uh, those of us who are in this truth, we do understand that our our righteousness is as filthy rags. You know, but the Lord is dealing with some and some he just ain't dealing with. And if you got the spirit, you can tell who the Lord and just, uh, 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 gave, gave, you know, you can tell who the Lord then gave over to those uh, spirits, man. You know, Jake be out here in the world fucking bug the hell out of their mind. Jake say and do bugged out shit on the daily. I heard a nigga say the other day, man, uh, he'd rather his daughter be a sodomite than for her to uh, deal with some of the men that's out here. And I'm just like Jake, bro. Like, <laughs> and, and and these and, and the niggas that say this be niggas with platforms, you know, these rapper guys, these bloggers, these people that actually have an influence over large amounts of people, you know. So, hey man, you niggas got to pay for that, man. You know, the truth is out there of of, of you know how we're the Hebrew Israelites, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We make up the twelve tribes of Israel today. That's out there, bro. So you niggas don't have no excuse. Jake just fucking wicked, man. You know? You got a lot of these niggas out here. They uh, scamming, stealing, robbing, killing. And they enjoying themselves, man. And they speak, you know, uh, uh, with pride. Well, how about some of y'all going to avenge that pride, man? All the wickedness that you niggas refuse to repent for, the Lord got an ass whooping building up for you man you know jake want to fucking uh pop they shit and, and and eat crab and shrimp and lobster and push that on the rest of our people you know you want to push basically a lifestyle of wickedness on our people where the lord is going to judge you wicked ass uh leaders of of of, of, of israel man you know you guys that are in the truth and you guys that aren't in the truth you know, like I said, you might be a rapper, an entertainer, a lo whoever you are. It don't matter, small or great. If you're not going to uh, uh, repent and, and, and come into the fear of your Hawabash and Yahweh you are fucking dead, man. And this this goes for me, too. You know, if if I don't get my act together, you know, if, if I don't get it together, keep it together. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey. I'm 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 through just like the uh, two thirds, man. But you know, I got faith that y'all about some y'all size gonna help me see the rest of my walk through. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, I uh so lucky I didn't mean to rant. You know, the point of this lesson was to bring out the fact that you're seeing these thunderstorms and these tempests, uh, and uh, hey man, you you seeing you you seeing these so called natural disasters more often. And it's not going to let up. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is not going to let up his right hand. You're going to see more and more of this, man. So you people that think shit's going to get better, or you feel like you got another 10 years here, man, you better wake the hell up, man. Because if you don't repent and wake up, the Lord going to hey, 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 rock your ass to sleep with the rest of these people, man. And it ain't going to, you know, the Lord, hey, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh going to rock your ass to sleep violently. You're not going to, you know, like two thirds ain't gonna have a quick and easy death. You know what I'm saying? They're going to suffer, and they're gonna remember that suffering. You know, and 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 hey, they're gonna remember their wickedness in the kingdom. But you know how be it? You know, all Israel shall be saved. But you know, two thirds gonna have to go through uh, uh, Jacob's trouble. They're gonna have to be put to death, man. Scriptures say that the same shall know it after death by pain. You know, so two thirds ain't gonna have a easy uh way up out of here, man. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another lesson on that. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out because I pretty much got my point across through the spirit. You know, Salakia for running. Hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. Until the next one, I say Shalom.